بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم My name is Haris and today my topic is introduction to microscope Outlines اس میں ہم کیا کیا پڑھیں گے اس کے outlines کیا ہیں اور اس میں introduction, importance, components اس کے types ہیں اور آخر میں conclusion ہیں introduction میں کیا آتا ہے introduction میں welcome everyone today we will be delivering into the fascinating world of microscope microscopes are powerful tools that have revolutionized our ability to explore the microscopic realms let's begin with an introduction to microscope and their significance in various fields microscope Microscope is an optical instrument used to magnify small objects that are not visible to the naked eye. It allows us to observe and study tiny structure and details with expectational clarity and precision. By harness principles of optics, microscopes extend our vision and unlock hidden world. Importance of Microscope Microscopes are play a crucial role in scientific research, education, and numerous industries. They enable us to several things. Discover the unseen. Microscope reveals a hidden universe, allowing us to explore the intricate structure of cells, microorganisms, and other microscopic entities. And number two is expand knowledge. Microscopes have uh, contributed to significant scientific discoveries such as the cell theory and identification of bacteria. And advancement in the field of like genetic and material science. And number three is drive innovation. Microscopy technique provide insight for developing new material, improving medical diagnostic, enhancing manufacturing process and advancing technologies continue scientific discovery microscope have revolutionized an understanding of biology allowing us to explore cells microorganism and intricate structure of living organism number five is medical research microscopes aids in the diagnosis and study of disease enabling scientists, doctors to develop effective treatment and medicines. And number six is uh, manufacturing industry and manufacturing. Microscopes are used in quality control to examine material, analysis product defect, and ensure precise manufacturing process. Seven is education. Microscopes play a vital role in classrooms allowing students to engage with sciences by observing and exploring the microscopes world it is small kind of microscope parts pictures and structure and it include the components of microscopes and we can say it clearly there and it is uh, with the name the name has been written with every component of microscope like we have head ocular lens and diopter adjustment nose place objectives uh, etc all of the components are shown here continue microscopes consist of several essential component number one is eyepiece or ocular lens the lens you have looked through the observe the magnified image objective lens the lens closest to the specimen responsible for the magnifying the image and number three stages <coughs> stage the platform where the specimen is placed for the observation focus adjustment cores and fine adjustment knobs are controlled to bring a specimen into sharp focus and number fifth is light source provides illumination for the specimen 
often located beneath the stage. And here come some types of microscope. Microscopes comes in the various types, each with its own unique capability. Here are a few of commonly used. Optical microscope use visible light and lenses to magnify specimens. They are widely used in the education, biology, and routine laboratory work and application. Optical microscopes have a wide range of applications including biology and medicines. Optical microscopes are extensive use in biology research studying the cells, the tissues, and organisms. Continue here. Number two, education. Optical microscope are essential tools in the classroom and education institution, allowing students to observe and explore microscopic organisms and structures. And number three is quality control. Industry uses optical microscope for quality control, inspecting materials and identifying defects in manufacturing process. And number three is forensics. And what comes in the forensics? Optical microscopes aid in the examining trace evidence, analyzing fibers and studying biological samples in the forensic investigation. And here comes components. Let's take a closer look at keys and components of the optical microscope. Number one is eyepiece ocular lens. The eyepiece is the lens at the top of the microscope that look that you look through. It typically provides a 10x magnification. And number two is objective lens. The microscope usually has multiple objective. These lens, lenses each with the different magnification power, for example, 4x, 10x, 40x, and 100x. These lenses are located on revolving no pieces and are interchangeable. Stages. Stages is a platform where you place spider for observation. It often includes a clips. Close clips are mechanical stage to hold specimen in a place. And before focus adjustment, the microscope has core and fine focus adjustment knob are controls. The core adjustment is used for the initial focus, while the fine adjustment are allow for precise focus. Focusing while the fine adjustment allow for the precise focusing. So in number five, we have light source. The light source are typically built in lamp provides illumination to illuminate the spice man here. Some microscopes also have adjustable intensity setting, magnification and resolution. Optical microscope offer a range of magnification and resolution capabilities. The magnification is determined by the combination of objective lens and the eyepiece lens. For example, if you have 10x eyepiece <coughs> and 40x objective lens, is the total magnification would be 400x 10x eyepiece multiplied by 40x objective. The resolution refers to the microscope's ability to distinguish two closely spaced point as separate entities. The resolution is determined by factors such as numerical aperture of lenses and wavelength of the light used optical microscope typically have the resolution limit around the two to three hundred nonmeter, allowing us to see fine detail of the cell and small organisms. Electron microscope. Unlike optical microscope that use visible light, electron mi microscope utilize a beam of electron to visualize specimen working principles. Number one, electron beam generation. Electron beam generation in an electron source such as heated filament or an electron gun emits a beam of the electron. And number two is electron lenses. 
Magnetic lenses control the path of the electron beam focusing and directing it towards the spiceman. And number three is the spiceman interaction. When the electron beam strikes the spiceman as it interacts with the atoms, causing various signals to be generated. Signal detections. And in number four, we will know about the signal detection. Detector, detectors collect the signals emitted from the spiceman such as secondary electron, backscattered electron or transmitted electron. In number five, image formation. The collected signals are transformed into an image which is displayed on a screen or captured digitally. And types here. The first type is transmission electron microscope which is short form as TEM. In TEM, the electron beam passes through a thin section of the spiceman. It produces high resolution detail image of internal structure allowing us to observe the ultra fine detail of the cell non particle and material and what is the number two scanning electron microscope sem and here we know about the electron beam scans the surface of the spiceman generating signals that provide information about the surface typography compositions and morphology SEM produce highly magnified 3d like uh, image and excellent depth of field benefits first benefit is higher magnification electron mag microscope provides much higher magnification capabilities allowing us to absorb spiceman at the nanoscales level number two is superior resolution electron microscopes have superior resolution enabling us to visualize men's details and structure with the remarkable clarity and number two number three sample versatility electron microscopy is not limited to <coughs> transparent or thin spice it can handle various sample types including metals ceramics biological tissues and nanoparticles what are in applications an application we have the first thing is materials science Bio and the second one is biology bi biology and life sciences and the third one is nanotechnologies importance of microscope microscopes are crucial in various fields and have made significant contribution and the first one is scientific discovery microscope have the revolutionized our understanding of biology allowing us to explore cells microorganism and the intricate structures of living organism and number two is medical research microscopes aid in the diagnosis and study of the disease enabling scientists and doctors to develop effective treatment and medicines number three is industry and manufacturing microscope are used in the quality control to examine materials analysis product defect and the ensure the precise manufacturing process number four is education education microscope plays a wider role in the classroom allowing students to engage with the sciences by absorbing the exploring the microscopic world and here the last thing is which is conclusion microscopes are incredible tools that have the open up a new dim dimension of exploration they allow us to see and understand the hidden world of small leading and scientific breakthrough medical advancement and technologies innovations by unlocking secrets of microscopic realms Microscopes continue to shape our understanding of the world around us. Thank you for joining me in the simple introduction to the microscopes. Thank you.